Well, hello there, everybody. My name is VG Pat, as you more than likely already know, and welcome back to Scribble Knots. In the last episode, I got really, really frustrated with this, and I decided I'd come back and start start pretty much right back at the beginning of this because, you know, why the fuck not? Also, I figured that if I was going to do anything, probably a brick was going to be more likely to actually hold that thing down than anything else. So we're just going to make ourselves fireproof. We're going to go right through this. I don't even give a fuck about this anymore. All right, now go down. Thank you. Get that done. Just need to get everything out of our way. Now, we are gonna have to go through that robot here in a second, so let's just make ourselves fireproof, bulletproof. There we go. Now we won't even have to worry about that guy. Bye, guard robot. Bye, guard robot. You're a piece of shit, you know that? I hate you more than anything. And pick up the key. Uh, and the star was destroyed, but I don't even remember seeing a star, right? So what do I care? Pick up. All right, let's make an adjective. Can't make an adjective on you. Well, let's just not even jump over it. All right, let's add the ability to fly and be tiny. Hold on. Ghost-like and tiny. So we can just go right over you. Not even anything to worry about. And now we just had to flip the switch. Oh, interact. Yes, you can just short out all you want. I don't I don't give a shit. Any gravity brick. I've been thinking about this shit. Except any gravity brick is not working out. <sighs> Hold on. What about if I make an anti-gravity sticky brick? So it will stick. No. Okay. Floating brick. You're starting to piss me off, game. That's all I got to say. Okay. Anti-gravity. Wait a minute. Yeah, anti-gravity heavy brick. So it should fly really fast, right? No, it just does that. Thank to the prison room. Can I just destroy I know I can't destroy this thing. I know I've I think I've tried that. Anti-gravity giant brick. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted. <sighs> Into gravity, giant brick. I just need something heavy. I hate you so fucking much. What do you want to say? Press the button to open the gate. Hey, I know if I press the button, it opens the fucking gate. You know, it's just an issue of getting through the great gate. So. Maybe we can just make a floating brick, like right here, and just keep holding up, and... No, that doesn't work. I'm missing something fundamental here. And I think I might have realized what it is. Giant brick. Giant brick. Giant brick. I will keep doing this until we reach that thing. What if I put a growing brick? No, okay. Giant brick. Giant brick. And then a regular brick. And then maybe another regular brick. You know, it seemed to have worked there for a second. It worked. I'm done with that. Lightning storms! Alright, the quickest way I can think of to do this is to just make ourselves sonic. Or, and then just run right into the damn thing. Better make ourselves shockproof, you know, other one. Okay. 
Maybe the time machine, but watch out for a strong gust. Those spikes are dangerous. Well, there's the gust. We made it! Oh my god, we made it! It was so easy! Why did I have so much trouble before? All the challenges have been completed, now use the time machine for a second chance to grab the steroid. Time travel. Steroid hasn't been destroyed yet, grab it! Alright. Yay! I did it! The gauntlet completed! That was a hell of a lot easier than it ever should have been. Or... Wait. What the fuck is that? Okay, what have we not completed here? Alright. Have not done the thing for this shovel, apparently. Help Maxwell escape from prison. You know, this won't be too hard. I've escaped from prisons before. This should be pretty easy. Huh. Maxwell needs to escape prison. Give the tired guard a place to sit and he might unlock the gate. Comfy chair. Go, bro. You have fun with that. The guard unlocked the door. Now a ghost stands in the way. It can't open the door without a physical presence. Can I, can I go down? Thank you. Made me zoom in so far, I couldn't really see what was going on. I need a physical buddy. The mannequin. And I added an extra end because I'm retarded. Here you go. Open the gate for me. You creepy ass thing. There you go, thank you. The ghost scared the door open. <laughs> wow. Okay, now a prisoner is uh, craving a hearty meal. Give him something feeling. Lobster. Here you go, bro. <laughs> I don't even think it was dead. I'm pretty sure that lobster was still alive. Alright, what next? The prisoner destroyed the door! A con man has agreed to help Maxwell, but he needs to disguise himself as an officer to fold the camera. Very, very simple. Official clothes. Here you go. Alright. Police clothes. You have fun with that. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Because that's exactly what all officers ever do, is go blah. Alright, running the security system is a lonely job. The programmer has been here for too long and misses his furry pet. Give him man's best friend. Free mole. Here you go. Man's best friend. Bark, bark, bark. Yay. And it looks like we have escaped from prison. All it took was a mannequin, a lobster, an officer's, um, officer's clothes, and a hairy mole. That mole is kind of creepy, though. I will, I will agree and say that, that it is actually pretty creepy. Anyway, what do we got to go next? And that guy down there. So what do you got to say, guy? Give each prisoner a reminder of home. Cellmate. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. I have the magical power to summon anything that my heart desires. I should be able to get this solved lickety fucking split. Top of getting gotten what? Nice glasses, guy. Um, each person needs a cellmate that they have something in common with. The football player needs a, to room with someone involved in sports. You know, just because I feel like they kill each other more than they would enjoy each other's company in the long term. Tennis player. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's kind of a... Uh... Alright, the halfling was captured during an important quest. Give the halfling a member of her adventuring party. Tiny goblin mage. Garlic mage? Hmm. Huh. You know what? That's, uh... <laughs> Almost funny. The saxophone player misses making music with others. Write someone to join the band. Death metal singer. Dead metal singer. Hmm. <laughs> He's dead. How could she enjoy? Oh wait, necrophilia. I forgot. Um, the actress misses practicing her lines with other thespians. All right, somebody from the movie industry that she can practice with. Angry thespian. 
No, I can't do it like that. What about the music? Ah, oh, wait, what does she need? From what industry? Someone to help him practice my script. An angry actor. Angry. Did I spell angry wrong? Angry actor. Hmm. He's angry. Probably not angry now. The scientists need someone to share concepts with. Give him another member of the scientific community. Test monkey. Testy monkey. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Everyone needs someone. Alright, what about you? The cosplayer is a huge fan of video games and anime. Screw somebody that, from nerd culture that he can talk to. Wait a minute. Main cosplayer. Hmm. And it's a woman, too. How... How amusing. Oh, well, time to go back down and collect our star. I don't know why they couldn't just give it to us, but you know, whatever, right? We made a cosplayer, necrophilic, a little garlic mage, a tennis player, and an angry lesbian. And a monkey. A testy monkey at that. I think we've completely solved world whatever we've done. I don't even know what we've done, to be honest. I think we've just, like, made random people, because we're God. Anyway, what else do we need to do for people? What, what are you doing, game? Come on. That guy down there, he's probably the last one we actually need to help. Thank God, wait. No, there's probably going to be one more after this guy. Um, I want to talk to somebody who will help me down the righteous path. Righteous mage. Whoa, bro, whoa. That was uncalled for. What did you do? That was just completely and utterly kind of funny, honestly. But, you know, at the same time, you can't just do that, guy. Dark Knight. Holy hippie mage. Hippie. I put an E, didn't I? There we go. Whoa, you just turned white as hell. Alright, well let's give ourselves the ability to fly again. Except, you know, that's not what we need. A Theral. Astral. Okay, not what we needed either. Um... Ethereal, yeah, that's it. Ethereal. Alright. Who else do we need to help? You! What's up, bro? Um, help bridge the gap between the princess and me. Rope bridge. Ripe bridge. Structure. There you go. You know what? That didn't work. Bridge. Structure. like on her head. Dude, bro, go. You can just go. You don't have to worry about me just... Alright, this is getting dumb. Alright. Ladder. How's this? Except I'm a feral, so I can't actually do anything. Demonic, how's that? Now I can push the ladder over? No, I can't even push the ladder over. Wow, this is the sturdiest fucking ladder I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, okay. Hold on, what about a federal bridge? And I know I'm spelling it wrong. God damn it, I keep putting an A for some reason. And not adding the A at the end. What the fuck? No! No! What do I need to do? It's like she keeps blocking the bridge with her fucking face. Okay. Hold on. Let's just let's just make this simple. Jetpack. Here you go, bro. Have fucking fun. You happy now? The princess and the prison. Fucking thank God. It's just a shit ton of bridges and shit down here. Good lord. All right, where do we got to go next? Paper planes. We were already here. Well, let's actually go to the world then.